Hey guys, we made it back over to the seawall of Villa Venice. We had to take a quick break from here to get over to Shoreline Park. We had a scheduled start date on that project and we actually knocked it out in the time frame they had. Two weeks, I got a previous video posted on there. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some shots of this one right here and let y'all see how this uh, seawall is put together. We got approximately 250 foot of wall, a couple boathouses that we're putting in also. Where is it at? We got most of the old seawall removed that was in place here and we're bundling it up, trying to reclaim what we can of the good material and get rid of the rest of the material. A lot of the one by eights that were buried in the ground are still just as good as the day that they were put in. So we can put them to good use for somebody else. vinyl installed, the tieback system installed on this wall. You can see the four boathouse pilings that are incorporated with the wall. Got a little extra tieback in this area here. We're like four foot on center. I hate seeing boathouses lean over that are up against the seawall, so you make sure it's tied back really well. The guys are down at the other end getting started on the inside whaler now. Now it's time to start cleaning up the side over here, excavating that wall, getting it removed, and continue on down. We got 250 foot of wall to be installed here. Reclaiming old seawall sections and we cut up the sections to pull them out. Got this section of wall completely removed, stacked up on the barge. Getting ready to haul off, and then we'll get started on these pilings up here. Put pile wrap on them and getting them installed. Hopefully, go pretty good. I think I've cleaned it out pretty good. Didn't leave any debris down there, but we shall find out as soon as we start setting pilings. Um, I think we'll have to just grab those in one. I think he's going to grab them. We have two guys, and we'll just stack them towards the front of the trailer. of Hurricane Ida over here. Monday and Tuesday. Looks like the rain's on now. We've got all these pilings set for the seawall. guys are installing the uh, double two bait whalers down here now. Get the piling wrap trimmed off of this car for elevation. Then we'll be installing sheets hopefully this afternoon. guys are jetting the hole around the poles now and they're going to get the uh, piling wrap and wrap around the poles and we'll do some nailing underwater. In case y'all hadn't watched my previous videos, the piling wraps prevents the Trito boreworms or shipworms, what some people call, from eating these pilings up. It eliminates the sunlight. If you eliminate the sunlight, that eliminates the bug attack in the area. So if you pull the piling out, whatever's been down on the ground in the sand is like brand new, but everything that's in the active tide line is what gets eaten up. They get inside the pole and they eat out all the heartwood. I think you got a good pole, but everything on the inside looks like a honeycomb. So we install this wrap, wrap around the pole, try to get about a foot or so down into the sand about a foot above high tide and we secure it with type 316 stainless steel nails. Try to hide the uh, overlap of nails on the back side so you don't see it. Then you keep it on the side. So it made it a little easier, didn't it, John? 
keeping the jetted out? Huh? Made it a little easier? Yeah. Yeah. tonight. Always a bunch of DMC vehicles in the parking lot. Got the return wall going in over here. Now it's going to be 10 feet, but 10 feet just didn't quite get the uh, dirt uh, contained properly since we went up a little bit higher on this wall with the neighbor's wall. So we're going to run it back about 16 to 20 foot. Had a couple of trees, trees we had to get out of the way and the neighbor's fence was leaning pretty bad and we had to remove that fence to put our wall in. So we went ahead and stood our fence back up more. We'd like to leave it better than what we found it. You see we've got some of the dirt already put back in. We've got to do a little bit of more filling over here and get the trash out of here. Then we'll start on the water portion of this project where we're installing the dock pilings and platform pilings and the boathouse pilings. Through the vinyl, it'll be a little stabler. Oh. Running all the way through the vinyl, it'll be a little more stable. <laughs> Too hot to touch? <laughs> that piling wrap gets really hot when it's laid out in the sun. We're trying to get it cleaned up right now. I told him to get it off the uh, customer's back porch because that stuff is super. That was his idea. <laughs> that, stu that stuff is super slippery. I don't want to be falling. These uh, dumpster bags from Lowe's come in great and handy. We can fill those things up and load them up and we take them up to the uh, reclaimed yard and separate the good from the bad. He's going to bring it over here and I'll hook it up with the track coat and load it up on a barge and we'll take it up to a bridge up here. we got a trailer parked out. We'll just load it right on the trailer. Hey, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like what we're doing, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, got any comments, leave me a comment and I'll be uh, quicker to answer them that way. Emails and calls in my office. I have a hard time getting back to you on those, but sitting in the tractor, I can kind of thumb through the YouTube page and get them answered real quick. Thanks.